It's night 12 of the five star Grand Prix, and there's no Kashima here tonight, so we're sad. We're so sad. But me, Sarah, has accepted being the little goblin of Megan, and lets the Megasus toss her tiny balloon self out to the women below. Oh, a new tag team, the Megasus. Oh, we have three matches to get into. First, we have Natsuko Tora. The boss of the five star is so dangerous to everyone left involved, the dominating over near everyone but Starlight Kid, the big bad boss armed with the best mechanic in a wrestler, the Mist. Several Mists, each armed with a different status effect. I love Mist attacks, always have, but she's facing the Red Belt Champion, the Stardom Dream, the builder of Tam Road, the final destination of all her opponents, cause she's the current final boss of stardom, the world of stardom champion, it's Tam, oh my Tamu, not Skotara, don't give a damn about the pages of Tam text or fucking Tam Road or any of her goddamn cuteness or anything but crushing goddamn Tam Nakano outside. Quickly back inside to dismantle Tam. With only five minutes, Natsuko Tora has understood the incitement the entire time. This format rewards those who just fight and rally on through the damage. Natsuko Tora has taken complete advantage of this format and her host style and dominates. But don't forget that Tam Nakano has her believers who believe in Tam and fight on they go. But look at the Twilight Chief power up with aggression. Utilizing her technique to put herself in the best position for a TAM mission on Natsuko with her TAM thighs and TAM power and TAM's comeback, her kicks and grace and wonderful on point knees and the super kick to the face and oh, she blocked the poison mist. That's one way to stop the mist. This is another. And back to choking Natsuko out, but to the rope she goes, and now Tam on fire, god mode Tam hitting her knees. Tora still so powerful, but Tam can put her down again with the same kicks and knee strategy. The Twilight Dream sends the knee to the head and to the ropes, but oh, Natsuko tosses Daichi into Tam and Red Mist, the burning mist, the fleeting Tam knocking her rapidly. Oh no, down she goes, up top for the Swanton, and oh my Tamu, she dodges. Tam still in it, but another Death Valley driver finishes. No, Tam still alive red mist be damned but status effects have never been nerfed in the history of wrestling allowing Natsuko to climb up and finish Tam Nakano with the swanton bomb what a victory from Natsuko Tora she has successfully defeated the red belt champion and has defeated the top contenders in her block as Tam holds on to her child, the red belt she cherishes and worked oh so hard for, understanding just how easy it could be for Natsuko to take everything away from her. Natsuko has not spoiled left, who was the only one ahead of Tora by one point and has yet to be pinned in this five star. But Tora is armed with the most OP skill in stardom. The Poison Mist has been the MVP move of the tournament. And this is why you level resistance, folks. Zing, got him, got him. Dark Souls joke, we did it. We got a Dark Souls joke. Yeah, we got a Dark Souls joke, guys. We got a Dark Souls joke. Next is Julia, the strong champion of the news with a chance for retribution against Mirai for a loss against her at last year's five star. The white belt champion on the road to face Kunami. Julia is sitting pretty comfortably at the moment as Mirai cannot afford any more losses as well. The match was fine, starting gingerly until Julia brings her down with her technique and starts dissecting Mirai after those taped soldiers of hers. And this is a good opportunity to talk about fighting. They're fighting. When you watch every single five star and mostly every single stardom singles match or even Japanese wrestling in general, you notice that the fighting element portion of building movement happens in every single match, whether the logic dictates it or not. In tournament settings, this makes sense to me, but it's admittedly very silly to have in every single match in this tournament. It's why I just skip the portion sometimes, and it's why I just go, they're fighting, they're fighting! Because sometimes it feels that this portion is only here not to serve the story, but because that's just the stardom style. 
Anyways, Mariah can hit shoulder tackles all day, toss Julia around like a doll, and with all the advantage on her side, she lifts up Julia and... They start fighting. Oh, they're fighting. However, the problem with fighting Julia and accepting a strike is this. Jesus. Every time, Julia strikes are so vicious. So Mirai back with a big slam, but Julia up top and returns with a gorgeous butterfly off the top. And now they just be exchanging big bombs and moves from here on out. Let's go! Each returning fire with something just as vicious. Neither willing to give in. And Mirai turns into a lariat machine and starts slamming Julia around. Mirimari attempted the little spin, but the spin gives Julia a chance to expect it and escape, and Julia. Julia punch! Knee caught by the backdrop driver anyways, and she still eats the knee! Julia up with the glorious driver, and she does a little spin too. No, not the spin! Mirai slips off with the wrist control and lands a rainmaker! And that actually scores the surprising victory over Julia! She cannot believe it. Once again, Mirai has her number. That lariat of Mirai must be that powerful to overcome the already damaged shoulders and still pin Julia. I've never seen her pin someone with just a Rainmaker. Clearly, Stardom wants us to know that her lariat is devastating. Final match is Micah with a bottle of sake, but Shukami also holding a bottle. Okay. This is their fourth straight meeting at the five star, with Micah winning all their encounters. Will Otami finally beat Micah? Both have similar points. Both got their ass kicked in their last match. Both need a strong showing, and both have similar styles, which for me makes this less interesting. I like both of these women. I like Otami far more, but both are far, far better and more interesting to watch for me when faced with an opposing style. Micah has more power than Utami though, and despite Utami's amazing efforts right here, Micah's just stronger. And look at Utami's cell. Very nice. And things actually pick up when they start colliding. Their stubbornness and refusal to fall down into Utami makes her. Up top Micah for his super flex, but Utami brings her down in such a clever way and back to her lariats, but Micah stubborn enough to hit her superplex still. Nicely done. Leading to the spot that you just gotta have. The fighting. Oh, the fighting. And they're being stubborn. Oh, the stubborn. The air raid crash. The torture rack bomb. Hijack bomb counted into the lariat block. Duck lariat into a Julia punch. And then the lariat. A big slam for Micah, but Utami kicks out. Micah with the Michinoku driver, but Utami with a big ass German. But hits a big ass spinning Larry that knocks her head off. Oh my god, knocks her right off. She charges her right into a Michinoku driver, and smart Micah picks her back up and gives her a final definitive Michinoku driver for four straight wins over the Red Queen in the five star. These two will team in the dream tag event happening on my birthday. Oh, Micah presents Utami a gift of sake, and Utami gifts Micah tequila rose. Pretty refreshing. Oh, it's refreshing. Micah refreshing. We need a Suntory Time commercial, but with Micah. For relaxing times, make it Suntory Time. Be like, for refreshing times, make it. Micah time. Kuto, kuto, kuto. What do you say? We want you to turn, look in camera. Okay? That's all he said? Okay, George Lucas. That was a great dad. For refreshing times, make it Micah time. Kuto, kuto, kuto. <laughs> Thank you to my newest Patreon sponsor, we have Carvartari underscore D. You upgraded from a Mina Shirakawa sponsor into a Chie Koshikawa sponsor. Thank you, Carvartari underscore D. You're awesome. Thank you. Anyways, we got Jeff, the up channel, kicking over his dad, Anthony Ali Nales, Tease, Renee Valdez, Asia Trace, Maddox, Justin Stein, Matthew Petruska, and Yoshi, Boo John Doe, Terrence Danwork, Edward Kaczynski, Kev Mullen. We have Adam K, Ray Konishiki, Funny Monday 520, Punk Rick's Videos, Mina Shirakawa, Boobas, Juggernaut Graphics, Shut Up Ingo Without Wave, Ash McGee, Bob. Boggle, James, 98X, Aaron Sakarius, 4, 5, 2, 2, 2, Marjan, Kai, I want victims, JLA, Julia's sunglasses, we can go with this pair this time, we got Chiwa, Paul Darwin, Pickle Slimer, Scott Racer, oh, Steven Siemens, ha, and Dakota Monroe, Dakota, thank you.